I'm creating a massive Star Wars battle scene in seven days, including scripting, set building, animation, and visual effects. Before I start, I need to separate the days by category. Day 1 would be scripting, days 2 through 5 for animation, days 6 and 7 for visual effects and sound design. Let's jump right into day 1. First thing we've gotta do is script our video. And I know just how to start. It was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> Jokes aside, what we're actually going to do is make a quick script to outline the video. Since I was using voice lines, I had to call up a voice actor. Alright, I've got about three lines for you to do. If you could do multiple takes of each line, that would be great. Move it, move it. Thank you for your assistance, General. I asked him to do multiple takes of each line, so I had a multitude of takes to choose from. Move it, move it! Alrighty, so uh, yeah, thank you for that. Now that the lines were recorded, day one had reached a result. On to day two. First thing we need to consider is set design. Luckily, I had an old hallway built. I took out the back of it and placed a light bar behind it so light would seep through. After animating the first few scenes, I went into the editing software to make sure everything was working correctly. And to my surprise, it wasn't. I tried mirroring this side and it's at a different angle than that. And after many- Attempt three. Many attempts. Attempt seven. I finally got it working correctly. This is probably about as close as I'm gonna be able to get. I also wanted to animate a door opening at the end of the hallway. I tried doing this in stop motion at first, but then decided it would be smoother if I just did it in Blender. For the exterior, I built a little sparse force for the clone troopers to run through. The next segment, which if we look at the script, says, One clone walks ahead of the rest of them, picks up binoculars to view what the binoculars see. Or in this case, a visor. After shooting a quick sequence of what the visor saw, I moved on to attempting to animate all the troopers running at the camera. This turned out terrible. No, it's so bad. Day two ends with a total of 22 seconds of animation. On to day three. Since the previous attempt at animating a multitude of clones was a colossal failure, I decided to try shooting it at a different angle, and the camera would pan alongside the running clones. This still took a while to film, but I believe it'll turn out a lot better than the original take. Then the camera died, and I don't have time to wait for the darn battery to charge to keep animating. One battery charge later, I was on to introducing the battle droids into the scene. When the droids were to shoot something, I wanted a character to go flying, and luckily I had just gotten this clear piece, which could be used to help levitate characters and objects. Now that we have that sorted out, I can animate the next shot, which was of the super battle droid shooting the ground and causing debris to go flying. And with that, day three draws to a close. I collected another 20 seconds of animation, and I think I need to speed up a little if I want to finish the animation in time. Hopefully we can pick up the pace in day four. Day four would primarily be spent animating the first major laser fight of the video, and there were going to be three separate shots. To combine the shots together, I decided to do whip pan to join them together, because I think it would look cool. Eventually, the clones would become overwhelmed by super battle droids, at which point a Jedi would jump from the sky and dismantle them. I used cotton balls to make it look as though his landing picked up dust. After destroying a few droids, I thought it would look cool if he threw his lightsaber at one of the droids. And unfortunately, that's all I was able to do for day 4. I'm gonna have to finish the entire video tomorrow, and I still have a battle scene to animate. This is not gonna be easy, but let's go ahead and start day 5. As I said, I have to animate an entire battle scene in this day, and in this group, I wrote that I wanted a tank to be included. But first, I animated a sequence where the Jedi deflects some bullets back at the droids. I also decided to go ahead and start masking to save me some time when I got to editing. Now we move on to animating the tank battle sequence. I started by animating the Jedi running and slicing up a droid. He would then do a backflip to cut off the barrel of the tank, which would then fall down. I then animated a clone throwing a grenade to the Jedi, which he would use to blow up the tank. With that animation done, I went ahead and masked all the floating scenes out. Some of them weren't done perfectly, but it is what it is. And that was all I was able to do in day 5. I still needed another 15 seconds to complete the animation, so unfortunately the animating phase was going to spill into day 6. So let's figure out how we're gonna do this. It's now day 6, and I really need to start visual effects as soon as possible. So let's wrap up this animation as swiftly as I can. After the tank blew up, a tri droid and a few other droids showed up behind them. I decided that it would look cool if the Jedi sent a rocket shot by the tri droid right back at it. The masking for the scene ended up being one of the most demanding. The following shot would be a fairly simple fight segment ending with the saber being thrown straight through one of the droids. The animation is finally finished! Now we move on to editing. Now I need to order some music. So I went on Fiverr and hired my friend Sheerfills to make a song in just 24 hours. Go! <laughs> Time to edit. The first thing I did was get the hallway section fully set up. The next segment was making the visor look like, well, a visor. So I plopped down a drone overlay and one of my stream viewers suggested that I should have it track the head of the droid. Actually, that's genius. So I quickly did that. The most likely task of the entire VFX process is lasers. Lots and lots of lasers. 
so many lasers, I even had to find a way to cheese it to make the process faster. But it wasn't fast enough to complete it in a single day. So we'll just have to wrap this up in day 7. It's finally time to wrap this project up. I spent the next several hours animating laser blasts and lightsabers, as well as putting the door in when necessary. Once I had finished visual effects, I jumped straight into sound design. I spent literally hours meticulously placing blast sound effects any time a laser came onto the screen. A few hours into the sound design, the music was delivered. I planned to add that last though. So after quickly finishing up the sound effects, I exported the video. It was now finished. And with that, I present to you the animation. And that's the video! If you somehow made it to the end, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Special thanks to CalvinMC for becoming the first channel member. If you want to be featured in the credits of these videos, consider becoming a member. I also want to give thanks to Jesus, because without him, none of this would be possible. Wait, why are you still here? It's just it's just a black screen. I just need to extend this video to be 8 minutes long so I can do mid-roll ads. That's the only reason it's still going. Uh, um, yeah. The end.